In this tutorial, we are going to create a simple floor plan in Revit. So I'll just go to South Elevation and then I'll go to Architecture and just click on Level. I'll just place one level on top there, click the first point and the second point. From here, I'll just rename this one to GL for ground level, click outside, click on Yes. And I'm going to rename this one WP for my warplate. Okay, then I'll go to that level by just double clicking there and start, you know, drawing my plan here. I'll go to architecture, click on wall, then architecture wall right there. Then open from the project browser there and you pick the floor, the wall that you want to use, sorry. Okay, so you can pick the the wall that you want to use, I'm going to pick this one. Okay, and then just click the first point and I want the width to be 4,500. Okay, enter my keyboard. Okay, and that dimension, 6,600, enter my keyboard. Okay, and you can see that it's snapping there, click that point and that point. Right, then I also have some, some walls inside there again i'll go to architecture wall then architectural wall then open there and i want to use that wall there okay i'll just place it at random there by just clicking click modify then i want the dimension there to be 1600 make sure that you select the wall that you want to move then select the dimension and we have 1600 there click outside there then i want to move that wall so select on it then you have that dimension there pick it and type 2600 okay click outside okay so i'm done with the walls here i'll go to the doors so for you to have the to put the doors there just click on the door there then under the properties there you can pick the door that you want if the door that you are looking for is not here load from the library there once i click there i can go back to the main library by just clicking there i have the uk library and i can open from there then pick the doors that i want to load if i want to load this one i can click on it and click open all right then it's loaded i can go there but in my case the door that i want to use is this one here i'll pick on it then just over my case there and click there to place it i have the door there Okay, then I have one more door that I need to place right there. Then I'll click on door. Then click there. You can as well load from the families there, but I will just pick that one and click there. Click on modify. Okay, if you want specific dimensions for the, for the door there, you can select on it. Then click on edit type. Then from here, you can go to the height and the width. Okay, I'll change this one to 700 and this one to 2000. Let's go to the windows now. So what you do, architecture once again, you go to the windows. Again, just click there and check what you have there. If there's a specific window that you are looking for, which is not here, click on load there. These are external doors. I'll go back once, go back once again. Then under my UK library, just select one and type W there. I have the windows there. Select and pick the window that I want from here. I'll just close this one and pick the window right here. Already have the window loaded, the one that I want to use. I'll pick that one, hover my cursor here and place it right there. Then open there again. I want to pick that one and I'm going to place it right there. Open once again there under the properties, click that one and place that one right there and click on modify. Again, if you want to change the dimensions for your windows, just select on the window there, click on edit type. Make sure that you just click on duplicate there so that the one already loaded there is not changed. Okay, once you do that, you can rename it the way you want. Okay, let me quickly do that so that you are able to follow. So I'll call this one, click there, I'll call this one as window one. Okay, as just a blue one, click on OK. Call this one click there duplicate i'll call it window two click okay then if you want to change the dimensions you can go here 
the height and the width just change this to and then the window adjust so i'll just leave it there click ok okay everything is there the next thing let me put the floor here okay then just go to architecture there you have the floor right there i'll use the architectural floor then under the floors there i'm just going to use that one generic floor then here i'll just use the rectangle there then pick that point and maybe up to here okay that's the boundary for my wall then click on finish All right then i just want to check the height for my walls remember if you just if i just pick the let me just pick that wall right click create similar okay this is the same option that you can use if you don't want to go there and click on the wall there so once you are on the wall command you can check there the height okay that is the height and then you can also check the up to wall plate okay there so that whenever you are you know you are creating your walls there okay the walls are from the ground level up to the wall plate okay if you just you know model your walls without checking your height where the walls are starting and ending you can still select within your model there select one right click select all instances in visible view you can still check under the properties here that is the base constraint ground level the top constraint you can change from there and pick wall plate okay click outside i'll do the same for this one hold control select that one okay then ground level the top constraint that is the wall plate and click outside if i go to my 3d view there you see that i have my walls right there as you can see so what i'm going to do let me just hide you know the levels from here i'll just go to vg for visibility graphics then annotations then find my levels right here then uncheck it click on apply click ok and you can see that you have the walls right there so let me go back to that and let me place now my components here i'll just go to component there okay you can see that i have my bed that's the bed that i want to you know to place there okay okay let me just pick that one there as you can see then space bar on your keyboard you're able to rotate it like that then place it again if you want to just load from the library you can click there go back go back then you are going to go under furniture here and you can pick whatever you want from here just close it click on modify then i'll still go to architecture component there okay open there and then i want to i want my wash and basin there i'll just pick that one there and space bar on my keyboard place it right there okay can still select on it and just use my arrow on my keyboard move it closer there still go back okay if if if, if what you are looking for is not here once again you can still load from there but um for the for the shower again i'm just going to use that one okay then space bar on my keyboard it's in the right position then go back there what am i looking for again the the wc there pick it and i want it to be there space bar on my keyboard place it right there and click on modify so again whatever you're looking for if it's not there just go to load there you have the libraries there i can go back you can see that you have everything that you need from here it's just a matter of loading i'll close there what else do i need texture component there right then i want the the kitchen sink i'll just pick on it space bar on my keyboard place it right there click on modify to get out of the command okay then the countertop there you can go to architecture let me show you where to find it instead of just picking it from there go to component you can still go to the library there then go back there go back for this one go to casework there then we have the countertops there i'm just going to pick uh, let me just pick okay this one it already has the sink there I'll click on open i'll just delete this one if i want then i'll just space bar on my keyboard okay it's going in the other direction okay i'll just place it there then click on modify let me just delete that one just make use of that one then the height for this one make sure that you check it 
express at uh, ground level so you can offset it up so that it's at the correct height but for the plan you are able to see that it's there okay now what i can do i want to show that this is the kitchen that is the, the hatch pattern on top here and there so what i'm going to do i'll just go to modify there and i'm going to split first click on split click on the floor there i'll use the rectangle there i just want to split the floor from that point up to that point click on finish click outside go to modify once again then click on split face select the you know the floor there once you do that once you do that you still pick the rectangle there then from that point up to that point i also want to split the floor there then click on finish okay then what i can do i can just you know show the hatch there for my towels go to modify there then go to paint okay i'm going to use that material and just paint there paint there i'm done okay click on okay and click on modify right i think i'm happy with what i have here let me quickly if i just go to my 3d view i don't have the roof there let me quickly place my roof there just go to architecture there then click on roof okay that is the wall plate that is where i want to create my roof i'll click on yes then i'll just you know choose once you do that i'll just place my overhang there 300 is okay then i'll just click on rectangle you know click that corner and you know just that corner make sure before you do that i want to let me just escape from my keyboard if i just click there you see that i have the offset there okay i want to make sure that the offset is 300 right so that if i go there i pick there you can see that the overhang can be seen now i'll just pick that corner i have my overhang okay right click cancel then i'll just select those lines the magenta lines and i want the slope to be let me okay i'll put it at 20 then click ok ok then if i go to my 3d view you see that i have my roof right there ok we are almost done with our floor plan let me go back here and just indicate my dimensions just go to annotate align dimensions i can pick that one place my dimension pick it place it there like that ok like that you can go inside pick there place it there and that one there so like this you can quickly you know finish up your simple you know floor plan in revit if i go to the 3d view it looks nice so this is what you do to create your floor plan if i go to you know i change the visual style to course you see that i have the color there if you want to show it like that but i'll just maintain it at fine so this way you are able to create your floor plan